Hi everyone, thanks for joining us again on What Was That About? I'm your host Candice here at All People's Church in Brampton, Ontario. And I have with me today our guest, Dr. Tony Saldano. Dr. Tony, how are you today? I'm doing well. It's great to have you on the program today. Thank you, Dr. Tony. It's so great to be here with you. You know, in the past few weeks and months, we've been hearing a lot of um, things, disturbing things, actually, about um, just an awareness of Satan coming out in the open like never before. Before, these things remained hidden, but now we're hearing it in the media. We're hearing it, um, things are different, things are starting up in clubs. What do you think about that, starting with the Grammy Awards last Monday, where um, Sam Smith, who is openly gay, and uh, Kim Petras, who is transgender, um, sang this song, performed um, this song, Unholy, at the Grammys, and that blatant, just um, satanic uh, song and worship. Yeah, you know what, Candace, this is very disturbing. You know, the uh, the devil used to hide. Now, quote unquote, he's come out of the closet. He is he's out in the open. That's right. The Grammys, you're talking about a national, well, probably worldwide program. You know, primetime television, and this, you know, we, we we have seen, you know, demonic images. You know, whether it's uh, Super Bowl halftime and and other songs, but this was this was different. This was this was ritualistic. Right. It was evil. It was in your face. It was purposeful. You have, you know, the singer there. She's in a cage. You have um, the, him dressed up as Satan. You have uh, strippers. Their sexuality. The lyrics of this song. I mean, it's it's almost like it's it's no holds bar anymore. We don't have to hide anything. We're going to be blatant. We're going to come out. And then even companies like Pfizer, right. whether they sponsored the program or exactly. they sponsored that particular portion, because that's when their, you know, that's when their name showed up. Um, obviously, you know, Big Pharma now, Candice, uh, has no, I guess, uh, concerns about being associated with Satan or the demonic. And I'm sure yeah. they made a, a, truckload of, a truckload of money uh, with the vaccines. But, but clearly... They don't. They don't mind being associated with this. That's right. And you know something that that stood out to me in that um, when you look at the lyrics of this song, and you know, um, and we'll talk a little bit just about some some just after school program that's happening now. But the lyrics of the song talk about um, this this um, doing something wrong. And when Satanists seem to represent freedom, so they say, they acknowledge in the song that what's happening, which is about a man cheating on his wife or doing things that are wrong, they acknowledge it as wrong, yet they're calling this freedom. And so I found that very, you know, um, purporting something that they say to be freedom, but then sh knowing, knowingly um, saying that it's wrong. So in, in line with that, we have this um, after school Satan club that is coming now in different parts of America. They, they tried to come up, they were denied, um, and then they have some clubs that are starting. And they actually um, have a satanic temple, and this satanic temple is actually supporting this after-school Satan club. What do you think about that and, and what they're seeing, that the, who they are and what they represent? Because they're seeing that Satan, they don't view him as um, a deity. So what do you think about that? Well, you know, what, what I think is really happening is you are seeing the normalization of, of Satan, of Satanism, of Satan worship. I think we are in the last days. Uh, I believe that, you know, obviously the Antichrist is coming and everything is being set up so that, you know, people will not be shocked in that day. But what, what is very, very disturbing is not only is it out in the open, but, you know, Satan is being portrayed by these people as the hero. That's right. He's the hero. He he is, the you know, the first one to ever stand up to, in their words, tyrannical rule. Mm -hmm. So who's the tyrant? Well, God is the tyrant, right? Because uh, God rules. God has restrictions. God has a certain way. And here's Satan, who uh, has always been associated with rebellion, evil, wickedness, uh, Jesus calls him a murderer, a liar, and a thief. He's responsible for uh, wars and rapes and molestations and everything else. But now all of a sudden, 
uh, they say they say a couple of things. Number one, this after school club that you're mentioning, see they don't they don't come right out and say that Satan is a person or a demon. Right. They say that he's a symbol. A symbol of what? That he is a symbol of this almost superhero that stands up to this tyrant mm-hmm. and basically casts off restraint and limitations. And, you know, you can be who you are and you can express yourself. And so uh, here, here you have Satan who refused to surrender, if you will, submit to an awesome, perfect, loving God mm-hmm. and Father. But he somehow has become the tyrant. And Satan is now the hero. So think about it, Candace. You can speak to this. Every every uh, church hurt person, every faith hurt person, anybody that's disgruntled, angry, they're not happy with their life, they don't feel like they should be restricted in any way, shape, or form. Well, they're, they're going to embrace this because this is what's being sold, right? You're, you're going to be free, and, and this is your hero. Right. And, you know, what they're, what we're, they're purporting about this school is that it is a place to teach critical thinking, right, and a, a proper thought process um, so that people could come up with solutions based on science. And so what they're seeing, and they're, you know, they're putting them in places where they're evangelistic schools or other clubs like that purposefully to attack um, Christianity and those ways of, of belief. So you're exactly right, Pastor. It's it's saying that it's painting Christians in light with their brainwashing and Satan is this superhero. And also in New Mexico, there's this satanic uh, temple that has an abortion clinic wow. now that is also, um, you know, um, a, a, like supporting abortions within New Mexico. What do you think about that? Yeah, well? so they, they, named the, they named the abortion clinic after the Supreme Court justice who, uh, you know, uh, turned over uh, Roe versus Wade, That's right? And right. so it's, it's a real mockery. But, but, here, but here again, so listen to their wording. See, they are the critical thinkers. They are the ones that are following science. So people like you and I, you know, we must be fools because, you know, we have faith and we don't, you know, clearly we're not thinkers because we we trust in, you know, we trust in God. But but you know, what 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 do we expect from these people? Their father, their father, Jesus told us, by the way, is not a symbol. Satan is a person. That's right. With will, emotion, intellect. He is he is not a symbol. Jesus would have told us that. So we know. We know that he is a, a person. He is the ruler of the demonic realm. Um, and, and he is wicked. He's evil. He's the father. Jesus says he's the father of lies. That's so right. if your father is the father of lies, our father is the father of truth, the father of light. Our, our father tells the truth. Your father lies. Therefore, what do we expect from you? We expect you to lie. We expect you to deceive. Why? Because you're deceived. You, you, are, you are following this evil, wicked demon. And whether they say they worship him or not, or whether they say, you know, uh, uh, we don't follow a deity. Well, then how come you're registered as a, as a faith organization, as right. a religion? Of course you're worshiping him. You're, you're following his, ra- his ways of rebellion and his ways of wickedness. You're just twisting, you know, you're just twisting the language to appeal to people and painting God in a negative light, it's its what Isaiah said, right? That good has become evil, evil has become good, light has become dark, dark has become light. And, and it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get, you know, it's only going to increase. So, so watch what they are, watch what they are doing. Now they're, they're in your face, opening up an abortion clinic. So what does that tell you? Well, our father is the giver of life. Their father is the taker of life. Right. And, and furthermore, Candace, now you have, you know, and, and I'm not talking about all gay people here because I don't believe all gay people are Satanists, but we have two very prominent gay, openly gay mm-hmm. um, artists that have now dressed up as Satan. Right. They've depicted him uh, in sexual and homosexual. What, what are they trying to say to us? What are they? What are they trying to convey? Because clearly they must know him. They're saying they represent him. Right. And so, my friends, here's what I would say to you. This is no longer theatrics. Uh, this is no longer even shock value or, you know, what, what you would say, this is art. This is, this, is, this is intentional. This is strategic. It's, it's in Hollywood. It's in music. It's in lyrics. It's coming to schools where, right. where by the way, Candace, you know, 
They took God out of schools. Right. They took the Bible out of school because they wanted to separate. You know, that's what secularism is, right? right. Let's separate state and the church, state and faith. Hmm. And look what the replacement is. Right. The demonic realm, Satan. Right. You, you're going to replace God with Satan. Right. And like, like, have we, like, is that not what Paul talks about? The, the reprobate mind, have, have people not literally just lost their cotton-picking minds? Right, right. And you know, Pastor, um, as you said that, um, people asked um, about this a- after-school Satan club. Um, well, if it's about, you know, critical thinking, why not name it secular club or critical thinking club? And they said, well, no, we want to redeem the name of Satan. So we have to see that there's something more intentional at work here. And, you know, just you talking about the normalization and how it's gotten into mainstream. I think we need to 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 wake up um, as a people and realize that it is here. It was hidden, but now it's out in the open. It's right in front of our faces. So instead of being reactive, Active people to this. We have to be strategic as Christians, as those who believe in Jesus, who have truth on the inside of us. So, so you know, um, what's your thoughts on that? Well, it, what a word, eh? They're, they're going to redeem the name. Well, right. there's only one redeemer. That's right. And so, so think about what they're saying. If they're going to redeem the name when he actually shows up, then he is going to redeem them. Right. And so, what they are really telling you is, we are his people, mm-hmm. whether they say it's an image or not, because they're lying. We are his people. And and they know, they know there is power, there is force. Um, you know, I haven't watched the video in its entirety. The feedback I, the, the, the feedback that I've received is it's it's disgusting. And by the way, Candace, let's say this about the Grammys. It was a disaster. Mm-hmm. One of the one of the um you know, poorest uh, ratings of, of any of the Grammys, and in, including the Oscars. So, so I think even, it's not just us. Right. I think there's, and this is why we want to do this program. It's not just for the believer because the believer gets mm-hmm. it. Honestly, I want to speak to the normal, everyday, decent person that is revolted. See, mm-hmm. they're, they say they're creating the revolt. Right. But I think just common, decent people need to be revolted and say, enough already. Mm-hmm. This has gone too far. Because at the end of the day, they're not after people like you and I. Mm-hmm. They, they know they're never going to win us. Right. They are after the children. We had, even in our church, I had a mom that messaged me saying, you know, her daughter, I don't know, maybe she's about five or six, mm-hmm. came home mm-hmm. because somebody had taught her the lyrics mm-hmm. of that very song. That's right. Of that. Th- that's, that's who they're after, Candace. Right. They are after children, young people, mm-hmm. uh, angry people, the people that are disgruntled, the people that are offended, the people that that don't understand the love of God because that's empowering for them. That's right. And as a mother, I really have to say that we have to wake up as parents and we have to know that our children are under attack. It's, it's there for us to see. And that's why programs like this that help to make us aware of what's happening out there. We have to be more strategic, like I said again, than reactive. So, Pastor, do you have any final thoughts here about what is the solution? Now, what do we do? Where do we go from here? Well, Candice, you know, you're, you're a person of prayer. First of all, this is warfare. This is right. warfare. So we, we need to be in prayer. We need to be following what the Bible tells us regarding warfare. From a natural standpoint, though, I think parents, like never before, need to be aware what are their children watching, what are they hearing, uh, what you know, what's on their playlists, right. what are some of the lyrics, and what's happening in, in their schools. What are they being taught? Because as we have seen other ideology and other agendas come into the school system, this is coming. Yes. This form of spirituality, clearly they've already infiltrated a few schools. And, and by the way... In those schools that had the uh, after-school Satan club, you know, they said, "Oh, you know, the children loved it. The children thought it was the children thought it was great." Mm-hmm. And so this will this will catch on, and uh, and unless it is, you know, it is challenged right at the ground level, mm-hmm. it's just going to swell and it's going to grow because Satan is he is greasing the skids. Mm-hmm. He knows he's coming. He knows the Antichrist is coming. Right. He knows the the false prophet is coming. The world economic system is coming. Uh, the the false religion is coming. It's all it's all coming. And 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 they say of us, they say of us, oh, you're conspiracy theorists. Well, everything the Bible has said is happening, and now it's right before 
Uh, it's right before your eyes. Yes, and you heard it right here. And listen, some people think they want to be accepting of everybody, but really and truly, um, your children are retaining, and we as people are retaining some type of information. And we're making the inf- we're making choices with the information that we're given. Just remember, there's no free and acceptance, and I accept all things. Children are being presented with things, and they're making decisions based on that. So remember that, and thank you so much, Dr. Tony, for being with us. Thank you for joining us on What Was That About? And we will see you again next time. Okay.